Welcome to a new video guys. This one is going to be a special dish one. This is going to be mostly about how I'm fixing up this uh, Volkswagen Crafter. Had damage on the corner here. Actually the first part of the job is in a movie I already posted. Two movies back I think. I put a link below if you didn't see it. But here I show you mainly all the process, how I fix the car in detail. So it's a little bit special but I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's roll movie. Here I'm missing an eye. This one, I order it, I got it. The only problem is I order the one for the left side. The one I have. So now then I jumped out in the metal trash and I found this one where I cut it off. I now straight it up. It's now pretty equal with the new one just on the other side. So I'm gonna use this one now. Find out exactly where it have to be and we're gonna weld it on. Should be on the right point now. Yeah, it's on now. Let's go there. This piece is also brand new. And I see now from the old one was crashed. It's a support for something there. That one is missing on the new piece. Then we have to move over that one too. And you see these four points there. That's where it's welded. So we're gonna drill out those points. Then we use this special bore with unbelievable expensive. It's off. And now we're gonna straight it up because this is not how it should be, as you can see. So what do you guys think? It's uh, pretty straight now, eh? It's also in 90 degrees angle. Yep, so it's good to go. The challenge now is actually the same I had on the top here, to find out where it should be. But this one is a little bit more difficult, So this piece is brand new. And the chassis pieces on the different side is not correct, it's different build. So I cannot measure it from here, I think. I think actually it's better to straight up this little bit. And do some measurement out from this one. How would you guys do this? I did it this way. Taped it, a few layers, and took out the hole. You can see I put the tape exactly on the edge there. Now we take it carefully up. Here is it carefully on. Can you see this hole is fitting? It's fitting here on the edge. Then we just yeah, I don't know how to say it. I'll show you. This is what I meant. Marker pen there. And easy, easy as that, this should be there. There was that one on too. Then I'm gonna sand down the welds with this one. Actually, I always use this first in the welt to take the worst. Then I use this one with flat and straight. Then it's much more easy to get it there. Straight and nice. This is also a piece we're gonna have on. The old one I took off, I made those holes there now because that's the hole we're gonna weld inside of. This is going to be around here somewhere. First of all, I'm going to put my marker in those holes. The reason why I put my marker now in the holes where I'm going to weld is because here is no problem, but here I didn't sand, sand down. This I have to do with this one now to get away the paint so the weld is going to be solid and good. This is what I'm doing now is really important. On the back side of all the parts I weld on, I put a special welding primer that uh, helps it uh, not rust that easy. On the new part there, this one have uh, original black primer from the factory. So that there is it not so important. But like here on the chassis, where I've been sanding down the old welds and where I'm gonna weld the new holes, here is really important to have the primer on because on the back side here, you're not gonna be able to paint later. Now the first layer is gonna dry a little bit. I'm gonna do one more. So this is something I have done underneath or between all the new parts are welded on. Later also I'm gonna show you later when, when everything is done painted and stuff we can use this special really thin oil and spray into all the cracks and between all the plates as good as possible. That's also actually something the cars have original to, to avoid the rust you know. So that's also really important to do. I'll show you that later on. About the primer and oil and stuff there. I did a test actually a couple of years ago with different plants of the primers 
and also the oil. I took some used car parts from my crusty car head. I sanded many spots down to the bare metal. Then I used different of the primers and different of the oils. And I put those parts outside on top of my paint box. They were lying there for many, many years. And a few of the primers start to rust pretty early. But what was lasting longest was the oil. Only the metal with a little bit of oil. There it was not rusting. So that's, uh, the oil is effective. A buddy of mine called me now and said if I'm coming now today I can get a lot of gyps plates for free to use outside. I just have to empty the trailer now because I already packed down the silage I was hiring. These are going to deliver tomorrow so I just have to quickly unload before I go there. And the gyps plate I'm going to pick up. That's plates I'm going to use sort of outside of the building when we're going to um, isolate it and put panels and stuff. Then we need our gyps. So my plan was to try to storage it on the top of the container there. I have no idea if this will work out. Oh, that's <laughs> only millimeter. There we go. Hopefully it's not taking damage of staying there a winter. Okay, this top piece is done well done. So everything is done well there now actually. I had the side fender on. I had the ancient cover on to look that everything fit perfectly. So I know for sure it's where it should be. I also start masking here now. I'm going to do the same on the inside. Mask everything, sand everything and then paint epoxy and filler. That's the next step now. Yeah, masking is on. Now we're gonna sand down. Okay then, it's ready to get some epoxy primer. Same time I can put epoxy on the brackets and uh, wood uh, hangsler. Epoxy is on everywhere. I will check now if I manage to get it in every corner, also especially on the back side here. It's really important to get it. I have it, that's perfect. <coughs> Should you use a mask when you paint like this? Now I'm just gonna wait till that's drying a little bit, then we're gonna put the filler, then I go home. Because it's really late now. Um, the filler gonna dry till tomorrow, then I'm gonna sand it. Then we're gonna put the paint and stuff. But Hi guys! I'm home after spinning at family sports club. It's now half past seven because the spinning start 15 past six. I was to before six to warm up. I put new record there today with average slot in an hour. Actually, I had the old record too, but I put a new one with quite a lot. Means that the shape is pretty good. And I have to do what I hate most. I have to hang up all these clothes. I have now been sanding down all the primer I put yesterday. Not so easy to see it, but it's... It's done. Now then I'm gonna do the Fugemasse. I don't know what that's... Uh, I have no idea actually what that's in English. I will show you. Those. You can see this one is cut there. This should go up here and up there. And it should be over here, up here, there and all the way up there. This you're gonna put now. I actually also gonna just look at the old part. So I'm not forgetting any parts or points where it should be. I did a tester now because I'm actually always nervous before I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do now. Because if I, yeah, fuck up this, I fuck up the job. I only have one shot and it has to be perfect. Yeah, it's really difficult, like I said, to do this so it should look original. But I think the rest all turned out pretty good. Also, the one underneath here, I think it's, uh, yeah. It's for sure really good uh, covering what it should cover, but it's not the most beautiful I made. Now this can dry a few hours before I can put paint on top. I'm gonna fix the bearing on the wheel for the boat trailer, it's a trailer for a sponsor. I'm gonna go and get the paint. I'm gonna go and deliver the stillage to a different town. Yeah, I have a, and I'm gonna pick, I have a different stuff to do a couple of hours while that's drying. So then we're gonna do that. Old bearing is out, so we're gonna press in the new one. Then we start pumping. Oh, it's going easy. Ah, it's easy when you have the proper tools. I'm back after a few hours now, organizing different stuff. Now I'm gonna show you my magic on this piece. I did paint a primer now over all the places where I've been sanding through to the metal, so it's not rusting. Protection.
Originally, these are a little bit green in it, you can see. That's why I have now painted a thin layer of green in the bottom. Inside here, this is a special gray color. This I've been mixing today at the painter. I have painted it now, so now it's the only thing we left is the silver one. And this you're not going to put all over, this is have to be on special places. So to look at the old part, where it should be silver. I'm sorry guys, but it comes on people when I was working, so I cannot make movie or show you anything more, I just had to work. Uh, but I'm done with clear coat, matte and glossy, and everything. So tomorrow I'm going to show you the final result when it's dry. Yeah guys, what do you think? You can see I didn't put fully covered with silver because it was not the original either, also on the frame here. It should not be fully covered with silver. And the clear glow, the clear coat is half glossy. Up here is a little bit more glossy. No, I think this result is uh, how it should be. It's no time for the special oil that's working like that. There's nothing special about it, it's just this kind of oil you're gonna have inside here after welding it together. The first one I use now, you see how color is dark brown. I also have this one with clear. This I do on the top here, because in the crack there between the plates I welded, I'm not gonna let this one drift down between, between the crack, then I'm gonna dry it away on the top there. Yeah, I don't know if you understood what I meant there, but then I get it also between there on the top. Now I'm done, it's clear oil a lot around this one, I dried away the outside stuff. Also behind there I put a lot, took away the rest of the paper. This one I did the same, and on the top here. And also down in this crack there, so should be should be safer now. And I can also show you here how it's working, because on the inside of this one I put a lot, you know, with a long tube. You can see it's coming out in between in the crack here. So that's how it should work, it's perfect. So now then, actually the fan work start, mount this together. That's the nice part of the job. It's a testing day. Testing of the new roof. It's coming slowly together. The next project now is to organize those cables. They was cut in the crash, but I don't know what they are for. They are for the spiller tank, for the level of the spillerweske, and for the pump for the window, and for the pump for the light. I bought those three new, that's the sticks. I bought uh, cables with the original um, connectors. And those are in three different sizes, like it should be original. So this cable is uh, soon ready. I have to do the rest tomorrow. So it's a new day. I know I've been cutting off some pieces from this. This is leftover from a um, car we had body change on. And from these cables, I took away this one, this one I need, and I need those three clips. I was actually at spinning again this morning at Family Sports Club. I put new record there, you know, on Wednesday. I put an even much better record today, actually. So the shape is good. This is the water pipe for the windshield washing water. This was also cut off, you know. Now I had made a pipe. I had to push in the new pipe and the old one. And I have two layers of this Krampestrempe on top. <laughs> then it should be good. And the Krampestrempe I'm using is from Wirt. That's the best, and it have glue inside of it. So also when I when I um, fix the cables, I do it with lodotin, so it's not these connectors you clamp together. You now it's proper, and I use this scrumpus rumpus with glue. Then you are for sure it's never gonna have problems with this. There, then is the cable done. Looks original now, eh? Ah, nice us. Here we go, off to the painter. I am done masking it up, 100%. Then I'm going to clean up a little bit here and we are ready to go. I am done. Also this side is done. Now we're going to drive to Monday, it's Friday now, so ciao. So today, back at work after roll this case, I cut it a little bit earlier today because I have my mind on the workshop today. You and this one coming, we have a lot of different small things we're going to do today. We're going to remove that car, change the position with this one. Uh, we're going to start thinking about this really old. This you have to take down soon. We're going to measure out where the new building is going to be outside on the wall here, outside there. We're going to find out. I need a steel bracket on the roof here to support. Find out the measurement on that. Yeah, we have a different small thing we're going to do today. So 
I'm excited. And we're going to clean up all of the parts with inside there, the paintbox with shit, as soon as we start to build more of the lights and stuff, I work with this one, so this we have to organize. The last piece of work on board here, we also have to measure out, cut and prepare. And that this coat is actually have to be primed, wait a few days, one day, then black on one side, wait one day, turn around, black on the other side, two layers, then it's good to be mounted. We also have to clean a little bit outside here soon. And those old wood pieces, we have to take out the spikes from them. We're gonna keep them for later. No generator, guys. Ah. <laughs> Yon is always doing everything 150%. Yon! Love it all! And actually, we talked about it the last video. Yon wasn't there. I think that's the first time in a year Yon was not with in a video. It's good to have you back, Billy. Yeah, good to be back. It's come back now. Cutting for board is done. This is the container, you guys. Now was on the top of the trailer there. On the sides, I'm gonna cover it with roof pa like panels, like I use on the roof, so it's looking nice. But on the rear, on the doors here, I'm not gonna cover it. I'm gonna paint it. So we are removing the stickers now. That is nice, John. Very nice. That is shit, us. Sickly cozy job. This is uh, what warmed it? Ah, a little bit. Huh? Warm, a little bit warm. Hot on the fingers. Hot on the fingers. Yeah. Now we put on this one too. Many of you guys probably know it, but the heat gun is working really well to remove stickers. But what's working better is this one. This is a top pet remover. It's uh, cooking up the water, so it's coming dump out from this one. And steam you and heating up a huge plate or plate or what else can see that? Surface, yeah. Surface, surface it is. Yes. This is heating up a much Huger surface than the heat gun, you know? So this is going to be like shh, and it's done. Here we go. Then. I guess 10 15 minutes. Yeah. Not longer. Done. Perfect. And when you remove all the stickers, there's always a lot of glue left, as you can see. Eh? Yeah. And to remove that, you have to use C2 sense. I have it on this can. You spray it on. You leave it there for a few minutes so it's working with the old sticker. Then on this one I can use this one, sharp, not sharp but hard. But on a car you have to use something like this in plastic if you're not gonna make scratches. But here I can just scratch it off. Scratch it off. First we are going also for we clean it a little bit out. It's ready for with water. water. Spray it on. Holy crap this was dirty. Yo, this was so easy and so much fun. So much fun, yeah. yeah. Should we take both sides, Ole? Yeah. Today? Okay. Just <laughs> no <laughs> chance. You're always so positive, eh? Yeah. You just said be, yes. When working with you, you have to be positive. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, I understand. <laughs> yeah, there, yeah. Okay. It's Sunday. This ball bag. He's here helping again today. I really hope I can repay you for all the help one day. That's no worry, man. It's, you are, uh, I worry about it. No, no. This is fun. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> You're cleaning this car inside. If you've seen it before. It, um, we it should have been making movie before. Yeah. Because it was looking so bad. And already now Yon is looking like new soon, eh? This is the Balingo I bought uh, not too long time ago. It's a little bit not straight on the frame actually. Just 1.2 centimeters here. So I have to put it in the in the jig. But the Seat is in the jig, so I have to make that one finish first. Then this is going to the jig. Then I'm going to straighten it a little bit, then I'm just going to mount it, then it's done. Should have been straightened up before the sale, but I put the sale in the jig one week before I bought this one. So then I didn't take that one out and, you know, so I just, this is staying here and waiting. I'm going to do a little bit on this one now, because all this stuff is thicker. It's going to take forever to remove everything, so I decided that just do a little bit now and a little bit the next day and take it step by step. I'm starting with the worst place on the front of the roof. Rain was incoming, so I had to stop, but I managed one side at least. Yeah, Ion, looks like a new car this now. Yeah. Huh? Wasn't that what you ordered? A you're, new a, car? you're a pro uh, car prepper? Ah, uh, hobby pro. It's <laughs> morning, six o'clock in the morning. Gonna pick up my crafter now. Uh, Hello! <laughs> Hi! What type of, what type of it, the office? It's happening a lot. Where's the, where's the picture of Mia? We need a new, new, new wall. 
Yeah, that, I told you I should bring it. Car is back. Yeah, since we painted this part, I faded out the color and the clear coat down here. I've been polishing here now, so it's smooth and nice. You cannot see the other one. And the result turned out really good. Now I'm going to mask up between here and put black fuga as it should be all the way up to the top. It's uh, ready. Just a blue tape there and a green one. The blue one I used against the fuga because this is 3M sharp, make a nice smooth edge. If you use the green one, it's not going to be a smooth edge. There we go, the fuga mask is in. Then we do like this. Yo. That was not perfect, but this I have to fix later. But the rest is good. I fucked up a little bit there, but that's how it's gonna be. All right then, this one is also done. Then I'm gonna continue on the front. First thing I'm gonna do is mount the front side fender. But now again, I use the clear wax against the rust. Then I do this inside here on the back. I always do the wax inside of, uh, in the lower point of the fender like I did there now against the wheel because here it can be stones hitting and stuff. So it can easily be rest there, but this is the extra protection. This fender is on. It's not perfect here, like here. The door is a lot more to the inside on the fender. But that's how Volkswagen made it. This is the same on the other side, and also on a different car I looked at. Actually, the fitment on cars today, generally, is not too good. I don't know why, but it's not too good. I'm onto the front bumper now. I had to make this hole and glue on the support for the a distance parking sensor. Then we're gonna mount this part here. So down there. Then we check on the outside that the rubber is lying where it should be. Yeah, perfect. Then the cable, and the fog light, and then the cable or not cable pipe for the light washers. But this piece I have a change. You see, it's broken here because all this is new. I jumped a little bit here now guys, I didn't show you some more, more details, but the front is on. I have now mounted the front, I adjusted the hood with the fenders, so it's perfectly, perfectly fitted is what I wanted to say. Same on this side, also the side here, and also on this side of course. So now I'm going to bring it to my sponsor, Christian Urbe Kodosli, they're going to do four wheel angle control. Then I'm going to bring it to Hurtigruta car glass, or I do that first, I'm not sure. They're going to change the front window for me actually, because it's a crack down in the corner there. I think actually I want to show you down here too, how it looks now, you know, because here I have been painting and stuff, fixing it, same on this side. Down here I've been painting and doing a lot of stuff, but now I would like to say it looks 100% original and like new. Cannot tell when you look at this that I've been working there. That's how I like to do the job. So if somebody else is coming and take a look at it and do something, they cannot see straight away that somebody has been there. That's how I like to do it. Can of course not manage to do it like that all the time, but that's always my goal, to do it 100% like it was original. I'm now at Hurtig Ruta Car Glass. I'm gonna put up the crafter because they changed the front window for me. Here my baby is. Look at it now, eh? Oh la la. So I really hope guys, to my Norwegian guys who are watching, if you want to front or to learn the stands, it will be really good to use the front of car glass. Great? Can we have an avtal on that? Thank you. And if you have a damage, you have a virus control or something like that, it's hit that you should take. Urbe Karos, you should talk to someone who stands there. Christian. And here at this place, they are always really stressed. Thomas, coffee or? Nei, jeg trodde du drakk kaffe igjen da. Kaffe er jo gammel. Ja, for dem som sitter her. Her er alt i orden. Her er det like normal, stressy like hell. Kristian da? Hanging ten. Roy, 20 years wedding day today. Yes. So maybe we can get some action when you come home later, eller? I would guess so. How long have you been waiting? 10 years. 14. So guys, then I'm back with the crafter. I'm only gonna mount the wipers now because I have not mounted them. Hope you like this movie. 
please subscribe to my channel if you already didn't. I really appreciate you guys who do it. Put the thumbs up. Tell me what you think in the comment below, eh? Uh, tomorrow I take this car to Kristiansson. It's uh, five hours away from here. But that's coming in the next movie. So i show you then what I'm going to Kristiansson to do. So take care, guys. See you soon. Actually, a new video is coming in a week. We are in a good flow now. So stay tuned.